Hi guys, so like my last video said, I'm back to making videos. Um, that video I put up a little bit late because it was my February glam bag um, video. I just haven't really had time. My dog's scratching at the door. Um, I haven't really had time to put it up, um, and I'll explain why later on in this video. Um, this video is going to be my March glam bag and um, a couple of the things that I wanted to talk about. So um, I already took everything out of the bag just for easy access. Um, but this is what the bag looks like. It's kind of cute. It reminds me of like clay pieces, like they're made out of clay. Um, this is by an artist called Clary Rice or Reese. Um, it's Ipsy's gonna start having an artist do their bags every month. Um, it looks like is what the little card says. Um, so this is this month's artist bag, um, and this month's theme is destination beauty. That's what the little card looks like. It's really cute. It's like beachy themed, I'm guessing. Um, it says Palette Island. That's kind of cute. Um, so anyways, um, the... I like uh, this bag. I only like two things in this bag. One of them I love. The other three, the other two, I'm just kind of like, uh, or three, I'm just kind of like, um, okay, we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm actually wearing one of the lipsticks, the lipstick from this. Um, the first thing, this is the thing that I'm like most excited about and I love and I'm like, already in love with is this quad from Be A Bombshell and it's called Bora Bora and um, so the names it looks like are uh, Starlet is the purple I mean the purple the brown Bora Bora is the turquoise Risky Business is the gold and Rock Bottom is the copper um, and it has the names on the back of the Be A Bombshell box. And the palette is called Bora Bora, too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and they're really pretty. I swatched them. They're really pigmented, pigmented and they're really smooth. Um, so that's what all the swatches look like. Bora Bora, um, Risky Business, what is this one? Rock Bottom and Starlet. So they're really pretty. Um, they're really smooth and they're really um, pigmented, really nice texture. Um, I'm really excited to play with this. Usually when I do my eyes in the summer and I want to do like color, I do turquoise on the bottom and like a relatively neutral eye. So I think like these two colors plus this on my lower lash line is going to look really cute. Um, so I'm excited to play with that. That might be my favorite thing from this bag. Um, next, my second favorite thing, and I'm wearing this lipstick, is um, it's a Bare Minerals... Um, thing. <laughs> Bare Minerals lipstick. Um, and it's a Moxie Marvel Marvelous Moxie lipstick in Get Ready. This is what it came in. Like a little card. It says, Life's Short. Wear Bright Lipstick. <laughs> that makes me, that made me laugh. Um, but anyways, this is, like I said, the color is Get Ready. And it's kind of a peachy color. It's, I don't know, corally, peachy, pink. I don't know. It's that one. It's really cute. I'm wearing it right now. Also, so that's what the lipstick looks like. Um, next thing are these under eye patches. Um, soothing and relaxing patches with soothing corn flour. Um, I got two packs of two each. Um, and I'm not really sure what the difference is. It doesn't really say. I think they might just be made out of different things. I'm not sure. Because they don't really say anything. They both say the same thing on the packaging. But they're different colors and they have different like flowers up there so yeah I don't know I'm guessing these are like to stop under eye puffiness and that kind of thing um, and then the last thing I got is a Nicole by OPI polish um, Nicole by OPI box um, and it is a ruffles so it's a textured color it says ruffles up on the handle um, it's a textured it's a light blue like like baby blue a little bit of turquoisey kind of color and it's called um, On What Grounds. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because my camera doesn't want to focus. But it's called On What Grounds. Um, I'm not really a fan, if you've read my blog, of the textured thing. Um, but I'll give this one a try and I'll put it in my blog in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I'm not really a super fan of the textured thing, but I'm still going to give this a shot. This is my first Nicole by OPI because I feel like you can find the same colors from regular OPI most of the time and the 
this bottle shape kind of annoys me. Um, so I just don't own any Nicole by OPI until now. Um, and yeah, I think that was it for the glam bag. Um, the next thing I have to show you is um, my birthday was on the 17th, on St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I picked up the Beauty Insider from Sephora gift. And it's from Makeup Forever. That's what it looks like. It comes with a lipstick and a mascara. Um, I don't own anything from Makeup Forever. I've played with their stuff, but I don't. I haven't bought anything um, of theirs. So the I uh, the mascara is Smoky Extravagant. Smoky Extravagant. I definitely have never tried any of Makeup Forever mascara, so that'll be interesting to try. Let's see what the brush or the wand looks like. Whoa, it's huge. It's like a huge cone thing. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a brush like that before. Huh, that'll be interesting to try. Yeah, that'll be interesting to try and play with. And then the lipstick um, is number 6N. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's kind of dark, so I feel like it would be better for fall. But it doesn't look that dark when I swatched it. It's this one. It's kind of more terracotta-y colored. Um, so yeah. That's all the makeup I have to talk about. Um, next thing I have to talk about is that I opened my own shop on uh, Store Envy. Store Envy? Yeah, Store Envy. Um, where I sell hair bows. And in the future I will also be doing jewelry, nail polish jewelry, and... Um, my own nail polish line I hope. Um, nail polish line is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time so I really hope to do that soon. Um, but for now it's just hair bows. Um, I'm actually wearing one of my designs. Let me take it out and show you. Um, this is inspired by the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Um, he has yellow eyes, so a little yellow rhinestone. So this is my Cheshire Cat design. Let me put it back in and hope it'll somewhat behave. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, and I have a few designs that are like Disney inspired. So this one is one of my favorites and it's my Little Mermaid inspired bow. Um, the seashells are all painted by hand by me with um, nail polish. This particular one is painted with, um, and they're all gonna be painted with the same thing I think. And this is Color Club I can't remember what the Color Club Holographic is called, but this is the Color Club Holographic uh, nail polish. I don't know if you can see the holographic really, but yeah. Um, so this is one of my favorite bows. I've worn it a bunch of times already. I wore it to Disneyland um, and I've on my birthday, and I took a really cute picture of it, of me looking up at the Little Mermaid ride sign with this in my hair. It's a really cute picture. Well, my fiance took it, but... You know, still a cute picture. Um, I have a Inspired by Snow White. Just cute and simple. Um, one. Then I have, for anybody that likes The Wizard of Oz, Inspired by Dorothy. And it's like super sparkly and fabulous, and I love that. Um, then I have something, I have also simple designs, like um, this one, for example, is just Small Little Hearts. I think is super cute. It's like bent down because it was in a box, but um, it's just super cute and simple. Um, and then for any sports fans, um, I'm in LA, so I was actually requested this bow. Um, my fiance's boss requested this bow, so I did it for her, and then I have a whole bunch of other ones just to um, have and to sell as well. Um, and it is the LA Dodgers for baseball fans. I don't really know much about sports. I know about soccer, and that's about it. But um, this is an L.A. Dodger one. I'm planning on doing the Angels and Lakers and, like, all the big L.A. sports teams um, in the near future. Um, I don't even know when seasons begin. I think baseball season's about to start and, like, basketball season's almost over. I don't really know. But, um, so at least that's the plan. Um, I have a few more Disney designs coming soon. Um, as well as just regular, cute, little, simple designs like this. Um, I have other bows on my site. These are just some of the ones that are my favorites. Um, I'm going to link all of my links down below. I have Instagram, I have um, a Facebook page, and of course my shop. All the links and the profile info will be down below. Um, I also took pictures of some of these bows for my blog, um, and I'll link that post down below as well. 
And um, I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!